Welcome, my brother. You've come to a place of peace, where the demons of modern life cannot reach you. You are safe. Oh, our friend, Nam Shiva, Nam Shiva, comes from afar, seeking, seeking answers. We can give him those answers. For a nominal fee. Right, nothing in life is free. No. I'm sensing. We are sentient. We are sensing. You want to know who we are? Right, I'm Yogi, and this is Reggie. But you, stranger, you... You're the son of a legend. What? I see a world of danger and, and, and a mother with a black in harm. <gasps> hey, Jay Gale! Welcome to Guru Ashram. <laughs> what, what are you doing here? This is my parents' house. Why don't you guys get out? Oh, what? Why does he want us to get out? I don't know. Ask him. You ask him. Hey, I'm right here. Oh, he's right here. Good for him. He knows where we is. <laughs> okay, welcome. Come in. Yeah, after all, to casse, to casse. Um, we'll clean up. We'll be, we'll be out momentarily. But first, let's uh, have a little peace pipe before we hash out the details. You're into this sort of thing, right? You know what, I think I'm okay. So what are you guys doing here anyway? Ah, uh, AJ, we represent the interests of a certain power broker. Right, she'd like to press the flesh, as it were. A little meat break. You being the meat. Well, he tried the carrot. Guess he wants the stick, then. Hey! What the... abandoned his people to live in the decadence of America. But he returned in chains to face judgment. Your judgment, people of Kirat. AJ Gale! Some people believe you can make a difference here, AJ. This is the moment of truth. Look to your feet when you hit the arena. There'll be a blade hidden in the sand. If you do not survive, there is no hope for you or I. Oh, AJ. Welcome to Shinar's Arena! Hey, what's going on, Internet? This is Will from the Will of Gaming, and we are on round one in the arena. 
Now, I'm not doing a face cam this time around due to the fact that, you know, this mission is incredibly short and therefore, you know, it's just a really short mission. So, yeah. So, to kind of keep your interest, if you guys are even interested in this walkthrough, um, it turns out that some exciting news has happened and I'm really, really excited to share it. I realized that, um, before I get into the news, I realized that normally the best way that I think that I can do these videos is by just, you know, talking about myself. And I know that people don't really care about me because they don't know me and I'm like, why would you care, you know? But I feel like I was trying too hard and to make, you know, make, make videos as, you know, as awesome or as epic as they possibly can be or whatever. And honestly, you know what, that's besides the point. I just want to be able to just play games and just chat, you know, and just show people gameplay because I really feel like just me talking to a camera doesn't really do anything. So I really feel that maybe if I just put gameplay over it and just talk about everything, it'd be really awesome. But besides that point, I think I died like three or four times in this mission. But anyways, I'm excited to tell you if you guys have not heard it yet. And I'm pretty sure this will be old news by the time you even see this. But <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, has gotten an official release date. It has gotten it for September 1st, 2015, which is a worldwide release. Now, it's some big news. They said that there was going to be some big news on Metal Gear Solid, and there really was. So I'm really excited about all that. Um, when it comes to the Metal Gear Solid series, though, don't get me wrong, I love the game. Like, I love the game, like, like as much as you can possibly love a game. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this right now. Absolutely love Metal Gear Solid. But I do have issues with it. Um, the story never really stuck with me. You know, like, it just, it, it's a great, you know, it's, it's great at the time that you're playing it. But it never really sticks with me. And, and I have no idea what's going on. And... <laughs> And then I finally get it. I, I finally get it. And then I just forget it about it again. And that always seems to happen to me with Japanese games. Like, there were very few Japanese games. Like, Kingdom Hearts kind of stuck. Like, Kingdom Hearts stuck with me. And uh, um, Final Fantasy X stuck with me. And, you know, the Persona series and things like that. But when it came to Metal Gear Solid, I could just never keep that in my head, ever. But I enjoy playing them. Eventually, I'll do my research and, you know... And that will happen, and yeah. But that's pretty much it. So I'm really excited to say, I'm really excited about Metal Gear Solid. So we're on round four in this, and I did die. I don't know if I died, but I died. I, this this mission isn't really that difficult. You just have to know how to hide, and you know, and I've been spoiled through the beginning of this game because I just end up like running and gunning. Um, and I didn't really freak, it didn't, it just dawned on me that those smoke screens, I'm not getting them. And I made it a lot harder than it should have been. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go to those green smoke thing. Like, you see that green smoke? That's a syringe. That's a health kit. So I need to get it. But I don't get it. Well, I got it there. But I don't get it normally because, um... I just was so focused on the fight, I wasn't really paying attention, and that is my problem. I need to learn how to pay more attention to my games, because um, I because I put myself through a lot of frustration for no reason, and it's because I just didn't pay attention to a simple detail like that. Um, but yeah, I've also been playing some other games, and I was planning on maybe throwing in a, thir a throwback Thursday to the channel. I think I mentioned this in the last video. I don't even remember what I commentate, but for though if this is your first video, I plan on doing a throwback Thursday where I play I guess an old school game. I don't know exactly when it's going to start, but um it's definitely going to start. <laughs> I just I just don't know when. Um so usually uh I'm going to put face cam on on those videos as well. Just in case for those out there who like face cam want to get a little bit get get to know people more Then that's good. You know what? Hi. I don't see nothing creepy in that at all. I swear I don't mean that in a, in a negative way <laughs> But anyways now this guy piss pisses me off when you get to the final round. This is the final round Um, I hate those guys cuz um, I'm leveled up like pretty well. I got most of the skills I think I got like 36 out of the 48 skills and um, 
that guy is such a freaking pain. He is an absolute pain um, to take down. So normally, I it, what I recommend if you have any is to have Maltovs. Maltovs are your friend. Or if you already have like the big takedown, like how you can take down big people, that's good. Um, yeah. I also do plan on platinuming this game as well. Um, I do love platinuming games. I don't know why, because some games are just absolute torture, uh, especially when it comes to Ubisoft games. They just make you do everything over and over and over again, and it's just so unnecessarily long. And you know what? And the game just, you know, it doesn't get, you know, any better after post game. But, anyways, this is really, f I mean, this game started to get really, really fun. Um,. I was getting kind of bored of it. I was trying to get myself to be stronger and all that other stuff, but yeah. I threw a Molotov at that guy, but it really stuns him, so I swear it really works. It really is good. Um, oh god, ow. I hate that. I hate that animation where he's like picking at his bone or whatever that is. Oh, it's too much. Um, I don't know. I think that's a cool... It's a cool add-on to it where your character can constantly heal and stuff. So it kind of makes it sort of realistic, even though it's not really realistic. I'm being shot by bullets. What is putting a stick in my arm going to do? Um, anyways, there we go. There's a syringe, which we all know is probably heroin. <laughs> so we're shooting this guy, but my... Like, my aim really sucks. But we are victorious. Now there's going to be a bunch of story after this. So I'm going to kind of keep it quiet. And then I will talk to you guys in the next video. And bye bye Just like you and I.